Hey guys, welcome back. My weekend's um, been a bit interesting. Had a bit of a mishap with the trailer, which has mucked up my plans. Had to focus time on that and didn't really get to this until the last minute. It's about 4 p.m. Sunday and I'm just annoyed that I haven't done anything. So I reckon I've got enough time to knock out the brakes. I'm going to fit the new calipers and just bleed the fluid out of the whole system. Anyway, enough yapping, rip into it. So first off, I start by sucking all the old fluid out of the reservoir and topping it up with fresh fluid. Then I set about removing the old calipers and draining as much of the old fluid through as I can. Uh, there's a bit of surface rust on the calipers just from sitting, but um, they're actually in pretty good condition. And time for the shiny new ones to go on. didn't go to plan, although I'm mostly there. I've got the new brake calipers on, but where I've run into an issue is this little um, one-man brake bleeder kit that I bought. The hose is just too small to fit over the nipple on these calipers, so I'm either going to have to get a bigger one of these or get somebody to come and help me, which I think somebody coming to help me is going to be the easiest, so yeah. Alrighty guys, welcome back. This weekend I really need to get this surf finished. Um, I want to use it over Easter, which is only a couple of weeks away. I've got a friend coming out later to help me just bleed the brakes all around and just get that finished off. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the rest of these flares off. That one got broken off in a recent four-wheel driving adventure. Um, and I've found this rust hole underneath it. So what I want to do is just check the other side Oh, and the front, make sure there's no more rust, um, fix it if there is. These bits that are still the original colour, I was just going to spray them black, so that if you do, sometimes you get a peek in them if the flare's moved, and it looks a bit weird seeing the streak of red with the green. Um, and when the flares are off, I'm going to be painting them black, or black with Raptor coating actually. So that'll look quite good, because they, as you can see, they, they get scratched up, and being a bit more durable has got to be a good thing. The other thing I want to do with the Raptor coating is just the sills just below the doors because as you can see there I, I, I tend to rub it with my leg or something getting in and out, maybe my shoe, and um, it just keeps going through to bare metal. I've sanded that back and painted it a couple of times already and it just ends up like that. So I'm going to give the Raptor coating a go just all the way, just, to, just below the doors. I'm not going to paint the doors, just that bottom bit and hopefully it'll offer me a bit more protection. So yeah, anyway, I've got to figure out how to get these flares off carefully without breaking too many clips. Or ideally without breaking any clips. So it's actually not too bad. All the rest of them are actually pretty much rust free. That front's all good. Um, so is that one pretty much. And um, the back here, where it's rusty on the other one side, is actually remarkably clean. So that's a win, I reckon. There is a little bit here but that's just surface so I will pop this out and um, give it a good clean up but I'm um, happy with that so the only rust I've got to fix today well see that same place there as well but that 
So I will just be cutting a bit out of there and welding a new piece in. So I start by cutting out around the rust and cleaning up the general area with a flap disc. So that cut went a bit deeper than I was wanting, so I'm just going to have to weld them up. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. I um, kind of had a feel around inside, and the extent of the rust isn't too bad. So I'm just going to spray some rust kill, rust converter up inside here. Yeah, yeah, I'll clean that up. I'm going to spray some rust converter up inside here, just to protect it all, and um, then I'm going to weld a patch into here. So I've taped this rag to the top of my welding helmet just to try and keep a bit of the light out. Does this cat have no fear? I had no idea she was even there when I was welding, but she just walks up and sits down as if nothing's even happening. And that's not going well. It's just blowing holes in it. I think I need to cut it out and go a little bit bigger. too bad not too bad um, it's not the prettiest but I'm gonna clean it up with the grinder and it should be pretty good I'm pretty darn happy with that to be honest um, I as you saw I had to cut it out and go slightly bigger because I underestimated how good the steel was around it and I was just blowing holes but yeah no I think that's pretty good So a mate stopped in to help me with the brakes. Okay. Starting from the furthest away from the reservoir, I crack the nipple while he's holding down on the brake pedal. This allows some of the fluid to come through, pump back up to some pressure, and repeat until it's coming through clear. Did this on all four corners, and it came out pretty well. The front started off pretty foamy and lots of air, but then you sort of expect that with new calipers. Um, all in all, I'm pretty pleased. Well the brakes are done and I'm promptly running out of day, so time to get these wheels on and get the surf back down sitting on its own feet. Well guys that's it for today, um, I'm pretty happy with what I've got done, it's back on its own wheels, the rust's sorted and the flares for well, tomorrow I will get them ready and paint them but yeah and thanks again for watching folks I'll see you next time